My friends, it's I, your good friend, North Sentinel Island, dealing with these very annoying assholes known as the British. Well, we figure out how to kill them. As we notice, we're kind of like slowly, kind of hopefully pushing them into the sea where they belong. No. Can we just kind of attack that way? Good. Good, we got some victories now. Destroyer dead. This is what I like to say. Heavy cruiser dead. And then a destroyer. And four destroyers dead. Good. You got weakened. So counterattack. That's what you do. You let them wear themselves out on your defenses. And then you just crush them. Stop. Counterattack. You're not expected. What are you doing? Doing nothing. Run over there to try to help out. We lost one. We killed another destroyer. And overall, it looks like we're going to win. Good. Can you go there? Good. That's what I like to say. Yeah, Dunkirk's French, it's not Belgium. My main concern, of course, is where the hell's the French army? And the good thing, too, of course, is that sort of kind of prepared ahead of time for this it's almost a good segue for the next part of my mission of, I mean at least of this campaign which obviously is to destroy Britain I don't know how long they prepare for that but we actually handled them with no real issues, which is good and grateful. And they actually lost a fair number of troops. They want to come for seconds, which is fine. We killed the destroyer. this way to help out I'll have you guys sort of deploying strategic locations in a little bit and 
obviously we need to think about. The funny thing, of course, is that I cleared them out pretty quickly. It wasn't that hard, actually. Good, the French are coming over to help out. Which means, and you could fall back. Your turn. Soviets took care of all those nasty people. Which they were the very, very, very nasty people. Notice here, this is just being cleared out. Actually, it does make sense to focus on those, these, and work on my friend. Uranium. You want some uranium? Two uranium should be fun. Do you actually give any benefits? What do you do? So it's, it's not really like. Not like. Civilian factory production increased by 0.001% due to, like, the energy being created. Or something like that. Or maybe you could, like, as you guess, I need to plug in my laptop. You. Go into the laptop. And we continue. So, we just sit there and... Forced the British back to the sea pretty quickly, which was good. Pretty decent defeat, if you ask me. But with the Mediterranean being cleared up, we obviously need to be thinking about other topics. These people you need to go up there. I'm really disappointed you don't know how to do things. Good. You. Go there. You. Go there. And then we could go back up. You. You. I'm gonna crawl right through this way. No! Okay, you. Good. Pretty much your goal is just go up that way. Alright, you're on a mecha going. You're doing nothing. So, go up this way to help out. You. Go up this way. Thank you. And we might as well get rid of this thing if it's because it seems like it's confusing people. Thank you. Yeah, we've got another one. The convoy sunk this time. Doesn't that make you feel so good? We could afford the losses. They can't. Seventy four core, hundred and one million non core. I 
as we see here, they have enemy forces. Not a lot, nothing to worry about. They want to come in for seconds. Do the British want to come in for seconds? That's fine. Because right now, it's Laban. I'm going to give you guys some orders in a little bit, just like to protect the coast and all that jazz. But I first want you to finish off the British. And we'll have to do some sort of redeployment, because right now, obviously... You go over there, protect the flank. You. Good. Good, 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 good. Leo's French. All right, new orders, fellas. To our coastline. Good. You want to go to the coastline for me? Thank you. Thank you, Monstein. We can tell they're growing the coastline because of that. Vetslaven, you're also to guard coastline for me, okay? As we notice, this area is guarded coastline, so you're gonna go hang out some up here. And I actually don't really think I need to do that far. My main fear is the frickin' French not keeping their lines intact. Because obviously that's what the British are going to do next now that they just got completely wrecked. And we could have some men in reserve. As weird as it sounds, I'm fairly confident in our area being taken care of by those three, uh, two armies. And obviously, what's the rest of the army hanging out? But as you see, my main con my concern is that they're just gonna march right through France. We have some uh, aircraft over there helping out. Cousin Fliege Gruppe, dry. I also want that you to go to Wallona because you're going to be helping with the uh, Canal Conf. I want to see what we got here, at least when it comes to. Yeah. And as you see, it's. We're going to be doing, uh, if we're going to do the Canal Conf, Yagas Fodder, English Channel, please. Go to Luna. Yagas Fodder's in the channel. Kviga Group's in the channel. All you guys, stand by. Yagas Fodder, channel. And well, Yagish yeah, Fodder channel. You want to play games? We'll play games with you, alright? See how you like that.
good. You're just gonna bash right through like I want. Kushla. Why are you going that way, Kushla? Go. Attack. Drive him into the sea, please, if possible. That's what I like to see. And this was like one of those first naval invasions that actually happened, you know? I was surprised as much as you were. Look at all these Soviet troops just like. I don't know what they do. Well, they are doing a good. And that's kind of neat. It's like almost like the Korean War. Good. And this is the end of this little operation, it seems. Good. You guys are marching in. Yeah, you guys are just been steaming along quite well. What are you guys doing? Nothing? Okay, attack. Good. No, up there. Good, thank you. Good, good, good. Uh oh. Sneaky. Actually, no. You know, that's not really, like, a glamorous, uh, I mean, we have all the, that's not a, like, they couldn't really encircle us. <laughs> you, yeah, you're going. What are you doing? You want to go up there? Steam line it, please. Good, 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 good. Yeah, there were one point eight six million. What six or nine we crossed? Friends Mauritania. What is it? You're giving people territory? Oh yes. Look at this little guy. That's interesting. You're beginning to decolonize. Notice here, this little area has been largely taken care of, so we don't have to worry about it.
search for it and this war please do anything <sighs> do we just surrender this and let them what do we have over here why is okay good There is better. I don't really want to get into a battle of attrition with them. At least on this aspect. I want to get a battle on attrition with them when it comes to, say, land stuff. Can you go there instead? air wings new how about with the canal conf kusenflieger grupa can you go up there thank you he's in the situation i'm just i'm just thinking they're just gonna redeploy Let's see the next stage. I mean, right now we're trying to stick a, take a step back from thinking about, we're thinking about war now. Our army obviously outnumbers them. Point one six. Yeah, we outnumbered them, but the navy is it's going to take a while to whittle down their navy and ultimately to destroy it. They're not producing any capital ships. So what we could do right now is figure out what we need what that's tech trees so we need to figure out what what are they importing and what we could do to cut them off and they're obviously importing a lot of their oil producing this, they're producing this. For the canal conf itself, we have 472 naval bombers. I don't know if you got where that, yeah, we're... Cancel. You could go to the English Channel too. Not for interception, but for superiority. You. They're both going to good. You're going to the Northern Mirror. And I'm thinking about having another. The goal is to surround them with freaking naval bombers. If you have gas by now, I'm giving them in little chunks of 6,000. 
Good. This mess. Turn this little area into a communist lake with a little bit of a fascist, little bits of fascism. But good fascism as they're kind of like my quasi ally. After good they want to just keep attacking each other over there that's fine by me I just don't know why the Soviets can't really they should have those people driven into the sea by now well obviously I have to focus my energies on sea lion And it's 1944, gentlemen, which is nice. And we're trying to figure out uh, at least the overall strategy. I, don't know. I just want to see how many planes they have. Ten point seven thousand, eh? What about us? Half of it. Double check, Mr. Mosley. You got me beaten. Well, the story it might actually make sense just to pull back. Fortress? Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Hey, well, we have to admit we did pretty good. Sick enough, but at least some ships. But I want to preserve these things for some sort of mad dash or sea lion like event. slowly whittle them down this way. The looks countries, please. No. Yeah, that was dumb on me. 
Yeah, Gish Fighter. Benelux. You. Benelux. Well, we'll freaking think about what the hell we're gonna do next. Think a group, you gonna go up there? See if we can sync things. And then Northwest Germany on the intercept rule. There we go. Bye bye, Italy. Soviet Union until they take care of their that whole problem they have in the East. You wanna go again? You want you come in for seconds? Feet there. As you can tell, they definitely are going out of their way to try to protect that channel. And if they want to waste men, manpower trying to do that, that's absolutely fine. By, I mean, if they want to launch little invasions, that's fine. Right now, I have the resources I need. So, pending something else, I am not that concerned at present. We sell a tailwind just in case they want to do something. Good. We're going to have an attack at this point because we're not doing anything crazy right now. We're sort of other major naval combat it's not going to be in some like scary exciting land it's going to be like trying to bash our way across the english channel in order to get to the promised land aka england you want jet engines no, i do Sixty-eight days. Good. What are you guys doing? Are you guys? Yeah, you're advancing. I'm disappointed where my. Not my pander troops. I don't know where the hell they are. Kushler. Kushler is just going home. I guess they should, I mean, they deserve home leave, I guess. I just would prefer it, like, in a couple weeks, like, maybe, like, a month or so.
And with this whole Mediterranean thing ending in victory, makes sense just to begin moving my men over this way. I mean, my navy too. Because we're gonna, I mean, don't. You're done? Yeah. Attack. Good. No. Good. If anything, we notice one thing, and that's we lack a lot of aircraft. Guys want to go home? That's fine. Don't blame me. Go home, Kusler. Hang out with Madame Kusler or Mr. Kusler. You know, depending on your, you know, depending on your sexual preference, and you know, enjoy yourself. You deserved it. You are a hero of communist Germany. What are you guys doing? You want to attack? What are you guys doing? You want to help out with an attack? Take over Batna. What are you doing? Good. Now, if you do notice, I have 159 divisions. They only have. So, that, at least in that aspect, we need to figure out a way just to get over there. Research, transports. Figure out what we're going to do to knock these guys out. How many planes do you have, my good friend, socialist friend? Is that you take care of those Japanese? Maybe you could help me out. That's it. That's sad. How many planes do you have? That's also sad. So Britain pretty much outnumbered, like, has a lead on all of us put together. Okay, you guys are building the bomb. You're going to be done in June. Do you want to build another bomb? Because I don't know how many bombs do I need. Do know. I need air. thick layer of radar. This is going down. Primarily because, well, battle is stopped. Which means I can redeploy it for even more aircraft. Good. 
Batnazars forcing these little bloody suckers back. Good. Yeah, you're not really going to be able to penetrate this area. Yeah. This is a supply deficit. Yes, I'm aware of that. 6-11. Not that bad. We lost 112,000 against the British, bloody British Empire. They lost a million against us. It's like a 10 to 1 ratio. Well, once again, it's just because we did do those huge ass pockets. So, let's just look at supply and end this episode for now and I'll be right back. <laughs>